Hello and welcome back to the Talk Norwich City podcast. I don't actually know what episode number we're on now. I think we're in the 90s. Let me tell you. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to find it on YouTube because I've stopped doing episode numbers for the past couple. Jack, because I run the social media, I always make a note. I do. Okay, so what episode uh, number are we on? We are on... Anyway, welcome back. Yeah, welcome. We're on... The next one will be 89. Okay. So so this one will be 89, sorry. Okay, um, I suppose this is somewhat of our pre-season. Um, cheers, boy. Yeah, cheers. Lovely Conquest Lager from the lovely Woodfords. Sponsored by Woodfords. And a big thanks to all of our sponsors, actually. We haven't really had the time to sit down and, and thank everyone. We've got a lovely range of sponsors on board this season. You can find them all down in the uh, description below. Um, all the boys have just flown out to Germany today, yeah. yesterday, probably, if you're watching this. We need a bit of a, a warm weather break, don't we, to, to get the season going, to I- get our... Vocal cords lubricated and yeah. ready for the new season. Yeah. I personally think we should have been invited on it, Jack. Right. I'm quite disappointed we've not had our VIP first class tickets. Okay, what would you have done in Germany with the boys? Um, if, if, I, if I could say to you, if the club have, if the club have said to you, Where do I Chris, go with that? Chris and Jack, you, you can come out to Germany, yeah. all expenses paid, Yeah. you're allowed to film one video. Okay. What video what are you would filming? the video be? Yeah. Um, you know what it'd be? It'd be a podcast mm. on some random German training pitch. Okay. And the two guests mm. would be Kenny McLean right. and Marco Stiefman. Oh, yeah. Because the banter is just popping off. Yeah, them, let, isn't it? it does seem as, as, as... Love that. Yeah. I mean, there was, there was your mum jokes being dropped last week. Yeah, bold. Very bold. But, yeah. But good to see, nonetheless. Um <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I don't know. The last podcast we filmed was with Stuart Webber. Yes, it what was. What did you get out of that? Because I think a lot of people got different things out of that. Yeah. What was your kind of um, residing thoughts? Is that a word, residing? We'll Max, take it. is it a word? Residing, presiding. Yeah, we'll take it. Final thoughts. Um, <laughs> I, I, what did I take from it? I took lots from it. I think the really interesting quote that, that I've grabbed for life is that it's so we're building a culture where we want people to feel like it's okay to make mistakes. Mm. That was one of the things that I took from it. Um, what I took from it was we've got a guy at the helm that's um, very straight, very to the point, um, quite black and white, knows the direction that he's taking the club in. He's got some key people around him now that are all pointing in the same direction. And I think it's looking really positive. I think the club's in probably the best place it's been in six or seven seasons mm. for sure a hundred percent and i think we're in a very healthy fresh optimistic state ahead of a which we know will be a successful premier league campaign thank you to everyone for watching listening to the stuart mm. Webb podcast i thought it was it was so nice to see so many people give feedback yeah and it's nice to see you know people adam leventhal share it and jake and they don't need to mm. very kind of do so well, one of the comments that i found really interesting was when we briefly t- talked about the, the season coming up and we'll certainly get onto that shortly in, in this podcast but when he said it's essentially free hits next season yeah and I, I think a few people well, yeah. picked up on that because there was someone who said for someone who cares so much and and has such great detail on on the on the specifics and and, and takes marginal gains so seriously mm. to say that we've got free hits feels a bit bit kind of i don't know a bit a bit sloppy what did you no, what did you get from that? It's expectation management for sure. Right. I think it's so sensible. I think it's a switched on thing to say. I think there's been far too many times where there's been slips of the tongue and under previous management where they've said, you know, oh, well, we really want to be, you know, pushing into the top half of the table and you know, he's we've 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 established that we're ahead of schedule mm. and I totally agree with him. But do you don't think we're this underselling bonus, ourselves somewhat? This, no. Look, it's a bonus ball season. It is a bonus ball season. We're we're in the Premier League and we did not expect to get to the Prem this year. We've put in all the work to get there, for sure. So let's see what we can do. So are you, are you essentially saying then if we were to get relegated, you wouldn't be fussed because it's a free hit and, it, and, it's, and it's a bonus ball season? Of course season. I'd be fussed. Come on, you can't wind me up like that, Jack. Of course I'd be fussed. But I think, I think we just have to realise that, you know, the amount of money that we would have spent on our squad compared to others mm. is minimal. Mm. And we don't have the money in straight away. It doesn't work like that. Mm. So um, I, I think it's perfectly acceptable. And Stuart says, you know what, if we, re- if we get relegated, so, so be it, we get relegated. We, yeah. we have to go again. But the football club is in such a secure place now. 
so we're much healthier for it. Mm. As he said, in very plain, simple English, let's try and piss some people off. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Let's talk about some of our new signings then. We haven't really hit the transfer market by storm. We haven't spent too much money. We've been fairly low key. Were you expecting us to? No, I wasn't. Um, let's start with the first signing we made, Patrick Roberts. Yeah. That's a really interesting one, isn't it? Because he was, he was so highly rated at Fulham. He was, he was he was lauded about as the next big thing. Yeah. And he's, he's done fantastically well at Celtic. But the last few seasons for him have been a struggle, mm. mainly because of injury. Mm. What did you make of that signing? And what do you think the future holds for him at Norwich City? Uh, I'm, I'm really happy that we've made the signing. Um, I've got a lot of interest. I think that... Um, Patrick Roberts is he, he's very very well regarded from Celtic fans Celtic mm. is a massive football mm. club um, you know I know I'm not too kind on, on the SPL but you know there's, there's no doubt that he's played on a on a stage you know don't forget he's, he's played for Fulham too right but he's played he's played for Champions a League club games, yeah. he's played some massive games of football and so he'll easily be able to cope with the pressure mm. which is really important and I think I would describe his next season as sparky I think that we could. What's funny about no, that? I, like, I, wasn't. I think it could be Sparky. I.e., I'm not saying, I'm not putting it on his shoulders straight away that he's going to hit the ground running. I'm not putting it on his shoulders straight away that he's going to be consistent either. But what I am going to say is, I think we'll see some real spark throughout the season. I think we'll see some really important moments provided by Patrick Roberts for sure. Do, you say that we won't see him hit the ground running. I think that's completely right. But do you not think now we're in the Premier League, you have to hit the ground running? Otherwise, you. I mean, we've got Liverpool first game of the season. If you don't hit the ground running straight away, you're going to get thumped. Yeah, OK. So we need players to hit the ground running. Well, do you mean results or do you mean performances? Well, we need both, don't we? I think that's an unattainable expectation. I don't think you can... I think, I think you can get... I don't think you can put that sort of pressure on this group of, of players to, to hit the ground running. Let's see what we can do against the biggest sides in world football, by mm. the way. We're Norwich. Mm. Yes, we're not little old Norwich anymore, but we're still growing. So we just need to be a little bit careful and let's just see what we can do. So Patrick comes in. Yeah. Next up is Josip Dermich. Oh, Josip Dermich. So now, much interest. Big fan of the hair. It's, it, 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 well, Are it's, you really? Well, it's Mario Vranic 2017 hair, isn't it? And you know how much of a fan I was of of Francis's hair back yeah. then. Yeah. Um, is it though? Yeah. I would say Mario's is de is was definitely better than than Yossip, so I would have to say that. Missed the penalty very recently, so fits the culture here at Norwich. Um, that's that's. I mean, Yossip Dermich. I don't know much about him, but I'm trusting people who do, and they say he's yeah. a very good Why player, a striker. Yeah. We needed backup. Yeah. Happy. Yeah, I like the fact he's got experience. I like the fact that he's got experience playing against some of the best players in the world. Hundred mm. percent. I think I think that's super exciting. I think that the other thing that we have to realise as well is Timu Puki might not hit it off in the Premier League. Yeah, he might not. Well, he there's going to be injuries. Isn't yeah, there there's going. Well, he's he's going to get injured at one point, or he's going to run out of steam. First reason to, to sign yeah. Yossip. Second reason to sign Yossip is, is is if Timmy Puki is scoring but 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 gets completely injured, mm. we're in we're in trouble. Mm. Um and you know, who knows, maybe we want the option to chuck someone on up top. I'm still I think the jury's still out on Dennis Rubeni, bless his heart, I really do. Um I can't see him smashing the Premier League as much as I want him to smash the Premier League for our weird TNC Dennis well, Rubeni. We've got to check a trade trophy where he could maybe feature. Definitely feature. Yeah, I want him starting every game in that yeah. position. Hundred um, percent. Are you worried about the the, the Canary call phone lines? Because we've signed a few players no, where, where, about where names might be hard I to pronounce. Honestly, I love Rob and I love Chris and I normally love whoever's on it with them. Mm. Your uh, sit Dermish though. I, I, I don't even know call, if we're pronouncing Canary this right. Canary call is just it just breeds so much unnecessary negativity. You love it though, don't you? No, I hate it. No, you do love it. They'll come off. You it. always you put it love on. it. Oh, you I love it. Yeah. Particularly when Tim Krul might have had a bad game. <laughs> you're, in fact, I reckon you're you're a mystery caller. Maybe. Well, and that's they make a, up a different name. And that's a you. seamless link because the next signing we made was a goalkeeper. Yeah. And his name is Ralph Farman. Ralph I Farman. Love, I love. You how can't you're say that name without sounding more. Ralph Farman. Ralph Farman. Ralph Farman. Highly rated. Max has just informed me that he's an 83 rated goalkeeper on FIFA, which yeah. is important because a lot oh. of the youthful Norwich fans do love FIFA. We're going to get slated. Um, surely number one. <laughs> God. Why? Why? Well, as Max was, was telling me, as a great connoisseur of European football, this man was, was, was signed to replace Manuel Neuer. He filled Manuel Neuer's gloves. 
Surely he's going to be. Is this legitimate information? Yeah, I think so. Neuer I think he's having Schalke. you on. Neuer left Schalke. Farman came in, and Farman done a great job. I'm just posing the question. You, you seem really uh, defensive about it. Yeah, I am because right. I think Tim Krul absolutely warrants his num- his spot as number one. Mm. I definitely think old old, old Ralphie. I'm calling him mm. old Ralphie boy. Um, will be and should be applying pressure on Tim. I think it's healthy. I think it's also important that um, Tim has a challenge that's similar to him as well. Yeah. Because they've they're both very experienced. Yeah. They've both played in huge games of football. Um, albeit, I think Ralph's got more Champions League experience, obviously. Mm. And of course, we're um, aiming for for that top four this season. Yeah. So you know, we're, we're thinking about yeah, Europe yeah. already, which is nice to see. One thing I would say about Ralphie. Right. Short sleeves on a goalkeeper. Yeah, questionable. Zero interest. No. Absolutely no interest whatsoever. No, I understand that. And and maybe that is the reason why he maybe won't be going in at number one. Do you know the reason why? Why? Who was the last goalkeeper to wear sleeveless? For Norwich? Yeah. Tell Ooh, me. Good question. Was it Declan Rudd? No, let me tell you. Michael Theo Klitos. Oh, really? Who, of course, now is in the Australian League still but yeah. has had to change his name to Michael Theo yeah. because it was uh, such a bad performance so I, I must admit I'm going to put it out there Ralph until you wear the right kit I don't trust you old mm. boy I don't let's talk about goalkeeping kits what what do you make of the, the, the chap who used to play for Fulham that used to wear grey tracksuit bottoms love it oh so much interest yeah. it's so Sunday League yeah. if Tim Krull came out in grey tracksuit bottoms would oh, your respect go up or down uh, up Really? Oh, for sure. Although the sponsors would hate it, wouldn't they? They would. Um, in Car- all seriousness, and, though... Unless Carbrini sponsored the track, the track it is. Uh, yeah, mm. definitely, with best fiends mm. on the side. You could, well, you could add another sponsor. Yeah. You're, you're a commercially driven man. You could say... Commercially driven. What, you could be the official grey tracksuit bottom sponsor. We've got okay. sleeve sponsors. We've got shirt sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make a grey tracksuit bottom trouser sponsor. You can tell that... The season hasn't started yet. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, in all seriousness, though, Ralph Farman. He's, obvi- he's, he's obviously signed. I'm really excited by it. He's him. not... He wouldn't have come here... <laughs> he wouldn't have come here if he was... Be careful. ...told the information that he's going to be sitting on the bench all season. Is he? This is a top-class goalkeeper. Yeah. He is not going to sign for a club where he's not going to be playing football. That's just... That's the fact here. Is it? My fact. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What... Put yourself in his gloves. Yeah. Oh, nice. That was really good. Well he... done. Surely he, he could have probably found another club in which he could have played first team football. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, I, I don't know the answer. I don't. I don't know what Stuart would have said. Um, but f- for me, I think it's just so exciting, so exciting, to see two real high-end experienced goalkeepers battling out for the number one spot. Mm. I think that that is an essential part of, of, of any successful team dynamic, 100%. Mm. I mean, you saw Robert Green do that last season for Chelsea, of course. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, of course. Where, uh, so we've made three signings. It, it feels like the emphasis, and I think Stuart agreed on the podcast, that there's been a lot of new contracts handed out. Yeah. It feels like it's basically one a day. Um, Who are you most happy with? In terms of a new contract? Yeah. Um, Emmy. Yeah. That felt big, a five year yeah, deal as well. Yeah, yeah. That felt really big. I got the same buzz from that than I did from like a new signing, in my yeah. opinion. In fact probably I probably buzzed more over that than Patrick Roberts coming, yeah. to be honest. And it feels nice in a sense that these new contracts being handed out gives you the impression that these boys are going to be given a chance. And we've heard from Ross, we've yeah. heard from Wes before that yeah. it is it's often when you go into the into the Premier League, if you yeah. lose that core, that's yeah. when cracks start to show. Yeah, it was Russ that said that, wasn't it? He was I think he was referencing um D D bot D or M bot what they M-Bock. call him M bot why do they call him D bot M bot and D M R C M Bacani for the people that say that I'm not allowed to shorten things anymore <laughs> um, that when you when you get a player in at that point that's on tons of money that doesn't even speak a word of English that mm. doesn't fit with the com- with the company culture but I mean, you can tell I've been at work today um, club culture um, then it's then it, then it's not good so for me I think the most important thing this season is to get our players that we've got to sign new contracts. I think that is is probably the best bit of business we can possibly do. I stand what? by this right now. The club, I mean, of course, there's going to be no way of proving it. The club will receive will receive a very, very large sum of money for Emi Buendia in January, and we will have to reject it. Because I'm telling you now, if that man is not in your fantasy Premier League team, which, by the way, there's a talk about receipt. There is, I haven't joined yet. Um, 
Why haven't you joined? Well, I, I, You're I, so bad, by the way. What, a fancy You're football? No, I am really bad. Football. I always forget to, to change oh, my team. Oh, that classic. Who's, oh, I forgot. Who's yeah, yeah. your... Who's, if, if you could put Buendia one... Wendy a captain, fantasy Premier League. Really? Sorry, that was my point. Really? Well, well why wouldn't you? Uh, maybe a, a Harry Kane or a... Hang on, or Norwich or a, players. Mo Salah. Uh, I'm talking about in general. You want me to say in general? Okay. Um, Are you putting Mo Salah in for the first game? No, because I can't... Why would I do that to Norwich? My loyalties are there. You know what I've, I've never done, and this will really upset any Arsenal fans that are watching this, not that they would be, um, I, I, do, I never put any Arsenal players in, I'm really anti that. <laughs> so, I've only got one Norwich player in, which is Emmy Buendia. Right, let's, let's um, you're gonna you tell screenshot my, this, and on. I'll put it on screen for the people to see. You're, really? Yeah, yeah. You're going to give my team away? Yeah, I am. No, you're not. No, because people can see it anyway. If they go, no, they can't. If they join the league, you can not see it. Not now. No, you can't. You can't. Oh, right. you're, you're absolutely All right, wrong. Give, a, give us a little hint then about okay. the flavouring. Okay, my tactic is to put in three players from the top two teams. Always. Always have what, three, three players from the top two teams. 100%. And my other tactic is to have two players in from a team that you think will demolish another team if that makes sense right and then you have your little wild card your Emmy Buendia okay. your James Matters yeah well, I don't think Matters is really by a wild the way card. let's talk about by the way we're all over the shop tonight let's talk about Madison's Lamborghini um, oh. I thought you were going to say that well it wasn't the Lamborghini oh, right, okay. it was the tracksuit wasn't it oh, yeah God. I loved it really really nice I mean I'm a Madison fanboy but he got a lot of stick for that goodness me it was I, very Jesse Lingard, wasn't it? It was Jesse Lingard. I think Madison almost. You, you, the thing with that, if you're gonna if you're gonna wear a tracksuit to that extent, if you haven't seen it, go and check out on his Instagram. It was very artsy. I'll call it that. If you're going to wear a tracksuit like that, you need the talent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to yeah, pull it yeah, off, yeah, and yeah. he's got the talent, so he yeah. can get away with it. I never thought you would ever say that. What well, artsy? You've just described a tracksuit as artsy. It is, isn't it? It's. it's it's nice. Oh, Jack. But to say that, your fashion sense is absolutely <laughs> All dreadful. over the shop. <laughs> Correct. Um, anyway, where were we? we? We were saying about the, the, the core in the squad and keeping that core. Where do you strike the balance between keeping the team that got you up and also improving on that? You, you quite simply always prioritise the team that got you up. You've you heard need Russell to improve, don't you? It's yeah, but fine-tuning. And we've already fine-tuned. Put it this way, Jack. If we start the Premier League season now with the team that we've got, I'm happy. I'm really, really? pleased with it. 100%. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Because my on. next question was going to be, do you think we need more additions? I think I would like to see... I, d I think I'd like to see a defensive midfielder come in. I think that with... In light of... Tete now slowing up towards the end of his career. I think it would be wise to, to bring someone in, in in that role. Yeah. Um, and obviously, I'm a huge fan of Tommy T. Huge fan. Delighted he's been given a contract, mm. and he starts every game for me 100. percent But I think that we need backup there now. Suitable backup, talented mm. backup, able mm. backup. Um, and for me at the moment, we look slightly tender there. That's just my honest opinion. Um, and but and by the way, are you are you worried about um, Christoph Zimmerman? Oh, Out? the injury, of course. Yeah, worried um, about him? No, Good I'm man. not. I'm not worried because Tim Close comes in or or Hanley. Yeah, that's a wild card, isn't it? Grant, Grant Hanley. Hanley. Well, is it a wild card? I mean, this this is a man who we signed for nearly four million pounds. Has played Premier League football. Yeah, it's a great shout, mate. Great I mean, he could shout. have walked around with with the keys to the city at points last season. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. He's a good player. Yeah, keys to the city's a bit far. Yeah, of course, he could have done. He was standing on the top of the bus, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean, health yeah. and safety knows no limits with Mister Mr. Yeah, Mister yeah, Grant yeah, Hanley. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Um, are you worried? No, 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 not at all. I was going to say I'm not worried because Tim Close slots in. Boom, you're in. How Happy do you days. think we set up at um, at Liverpool? Because there, there were there were a few people I was seeing on yeah. Twitter today saying I want to go five at the back in terms of three centre backs: no. Benny, uh, Benny Godfrey, Grant Hanley. And um, and and closer, yeah. And then your wing backs. Uh, look, I, I don't actually think there's a winning formula right. for Norwich against Liverpool. I don't. Um, I think that we need we need to we need to rely on on exceptional individual performances. Mm. You need an Emmy Buendia playing the best game of his mm. career to make a difference. Yeah. You do. You also need a slice of luck, mm. um, which is going to be very. Very unlikely. Well, I think either one of Salah, uh, Mane, and Firmino are probably going to be out through international duties. I know 
Well, not that it would matter because Ben Godfrey would have Salah in his back pocket. Of anyway. course. But um, that goes without saying. Um, you know, and, and Mane, you know, Maxi's got him all day long. Do you know how I really like Big Div? Div Okarigi. Do you? Yeah. But he's no, he, he's nothing on our Had three shots easy. in the Champions League. <laughs> no, he's not. No, I prefer. Origi's a Liverpool legend. Well, yeah, scored three goals from three shots in the Champions League. That's nearly as Big good as, 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 as Pukki's return. So, how am I setting up for Liverpool? To answer your question, I think it's still hard any to of the, tell. This is this is the question. Any of the new signing stars? Yes. No. Really? No. I, I just think they need time. I think they need to adjust. That's think, what pre-season's for. Time. Uh, I, yeah, kind of. I think it's a massive stage and I think you need to know I think the players need to know where players are going to be mm. and the new boys aren't going to know where the new players are going to where the old guys the previous people are going to be do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Here's another question for you if Big Ralph or uh, We're chucking the word big in front of every yeah, single player They're that, big players I'm loving like A big club um, Patty Roberts Patty, oh god! And uh, Patty Roberts. I'm, I'm big Jojo. <laughs> Joseph, Yossip. <laughs> big Jojo. Yeah, Jojo. Jojo, Jojo. What's his surname? You can't. Dermage. You Jojo can't Dermage. Call him big Jojo. Oh, cameraman's in pieces. For God's sake. Big Jojo Damage. That's not acceptable. Okay. I hope you get abused for that. Um, if any of them do start, would you be annoyed? I wouldn't be annoyed because I absolutely trust Daniel Farker implicitly. I know that he knows and he'll only he will understand which players are ready or not. And who knows? Maybe Timmy Pookie's been smashing the pork pies over the summer. You, you don't know, do no. you? You don't know. And maybe one, he won't be ready. And maybe you'll slot in. Yeah, absolutely. Pork pie consumption. Absolutely. So, um, um, yeah. Let's get to some Twitter questions. Um, Alex, this has got six favourites, so it's clearly a, a well-respected question amongst the That's TNC audience. Decent engagement. Um, how many of the core first eleven, uh, let's take the the last starting eleven, Aston Villa, can make the step up to the Premier League? Sorry, I just I, I absolutely love a Woodford's conquest. <laughs> Do you? Seriously, Gen- genuinely. Do you-, uh, you know what? I was in I was in the pub uh, shock <laughs> last night, and conquest was on tap. It's even nicer on tap. Always drink responsibly. Definitely. Sorry, carry on. Any, uh, I think the question here, I'm going to change it, Alex, sorry. A bit of creative control here. Um, any of the players not being able to make the step up? I have absolutely no idea what you've just asked me. <laughs> you just bumbled on for the last five minutes and then thrown a question at me. What's the question? Are any of the players not going to make the step up to the Premier League? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think is I feel really harsh answering that. I think it would be harsh. It's a ruthless business, Chris. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is a ruthless business. Jack, who do you think won't, won't make the step up to the Premier League? Um, do you feel guilty for saying? I think all of them should be given a chance. I think it'll be really interesting yeah, to see good. the development. I think there are certain players that won't. Yeah. And the one that is at the top of my list, and I know you already disagree with me, is Arnel Hernandez. Oh, mate. You got it so wrong. I just think the end. And I, let me let me expand on my point. And I and I love Onel Hernandez. He's one of the most exciting well, players. You just snagged him up. He's one of the most exciting wingers I've seen since, arguably Yannick Vilchko. <laughs> oh, <laughs> by the way, hilarious. Um, oh, I love the fact that happened to you. I love that. Where's Yannick playing? You were now? thinking I was gone. Where's Yannick? No, where playing? is Yannick playing now, Max? Um, He's playing for Maccabi. Is he playing what in country? Saudi Arabia? Israel. Israel, of course, a, a well-decorated country of football, Israel. Um, <laughs> God. I'm so by the way, he's going to rip it up there. He yeah, yeah, yeah he will rip it up there. Do you know why? Because Maccabi Haifa. Maccab- yeah. They, they play Champions League football, right? Maccabi Haifa. I'm sure I've seen them against Chelsea recently. Jack, you've absolutely... No, no, no. How many conquests have you smashed? Maccabi Haifa have played European football. Jack, all I'm going to say Just is... Just give that a little look, Maxi. I honestly think that... Pouring Land Wanderers are as good as Maccabi Haifa. According to Wikipedia, they're one of the big four in Israeli football. There we go. They finished second in the Israeli Premier League last season. They won it. <laughs> right, anyway, no, away, no, away no, no. from Yannick Wilshire. So this is my explanation. And hear me out, people. Ronel Hernandez, just to be I think his, he is not going to get as many opportunities to cross the ball as he did in the Championship. Why? And as, because it, the defences are better. 
it's as simple as that. You get less shots. I think last season we averaged 15 shots per game. That's not going to happen in the Premier League. You yeah, have to I take your chances. Agree and that. equally, your defence are going to be defending more and they have to be better. Mm -hmm. I don't think Onel Hernandez will have the, um, the ratio of connected crosses nice. in which he had in the Championship. I think he's going to prove a lot of people, including you, mm -hmm. very, very, very wrong. So you think he's going to make that suitable step? Yeah, up? I do. I, I think. I think. What I makes think, you think that? Um, this is going to sound really odd, but I just love the fact he's the first Cuban to be in the Premier League. What more motivation do you need? All right. He ain't playing for himself. He ain't just playing for North City. He's playing for his country. Mm. He's got a whole country behind him. That man is going to do it in the Premier League. One hundred percent. Mark my words. He'll do it. That's a very emotion. That's a very process. emotionally driven. Absolutely, absolutely. State. And you know what? We need more emotion. We need more emotion. <laughs> I'm fed up of this plastic, heartless, soulless football. Norwich City isn't that place. Mm. And I'm proud of the fact that we've got players like an El Hernandez at this club. I feel slightly annoyed at you for saying that. Actually. Yeah. No, no I, can, I, can, I can feel you yeah, going good. red in the face. Yeah, good. I am a bit angry at you, actually. That's a, that's a stink. Lovely town, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, um, it's not about Anel Hernandez no, crossing, no, no, Jack. No, no, it's listen. not about him crossing, because he will take players on, and he will score goals in the Premier League. Okay, so the question here, we have to give an answer, and, a, and an answer of, they're all going to make the step up, is simply boring. Oh. So what player has the least chance of not making the Dennis step Rubeni. up? Dennis Rebeni. First starting eleven player. <laughs> God, that's so tough. You've got to say someone, because... It, it, not uh, everyone is going to make the cut, and that's just that's just the reality. You know what? And and, and this is kind of a backhanded compliment. I'm going to say Marco Stiefman, but in a mm, positive way because he is sh he shocked me last season, and I'm, that might sound disrespectful to Big Marco. Love you, Marco. Another big. He's a big Marco. Yeah. Then. He is big Marco, isn't he? Absolute nutter. He look. He's <laughs> there's something about he, he looks like he can't play football, mm. but my God, can he play football? Now, he shocked us last season. Yeah. He's arguably one of the unsung heroes in that Norwich City team, for sure. Mm. Now, can he repeat that in the Premier League? That's the question I'm asking. Because for me, I'm still I still don't know what his best role yeah. is. And so I think for me, I'm not saying he won't take the step up, but I, I think that he's maybe a player that's maybe on the cusp where yeah. I could see it going either way. Yeah, same with Love you, Marco. Same with me and Anna Hernandez for sure. I love you all now. Uh, he had a lovely holiday out in Bali, by the way. Did you see that? Yeah. I always post. find it fascinating seeing where players go on holiday. Why? Well, it, 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 Tim uh, Close was was trekking across Bhutan last summer. I thought that was a very interesting holiday choice. You, you then got the Ibiza types. You've got the yeah. uh, the Bali types. Yeah. Would be very shocked if Onel went out there and didn't pick up food poisoning. Um, they call it the Bali belly. Okay. Yeah, I think over eighty percent of people who go to Bali pick up food poisoning. I for did. Real? Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you for disclosing that information. On Parasites the podcast. Um, ripped through my intestines, you could say. <laughs> okay. Jameson. God, we asks... really need to have an agenda. <laughs> By the way, for anyone listening or watching, believe it or not, we don't have an agenda tonight. No, and I think that's nice sometimes. We're easing back in. Okay. We're easing back in. Yeah. Uh, Jameson, uh, signing last season's players to extended contracts seems like the right move to reward hard work and bolster confidence. I love this. When a question starts with a statement, he's like, this isn't a question. I'm telling you this is the right thing. Okay. Is that enough? He asks. What more should we be doing to ensure that this season we are not a Fulham and equally not a Cardiff? Now, that's really interesting because Cardiff, of course, went up. They signed Murphy. They signed Bobby Reid. Mm. And that was basically it. I think it was a combined spending of something like 20 million, which yeah. is still quite a lot of money. Fulham, yeah. on the other hand, went the complete opposite, yeah. signed everyone, yeah. much like Villa are doing. Yeah. How do we basically... Oh, Taro Mings, 20 million. That... That's awful. Well, a lot of Villa fans will say it's important to keep that core of squad together and Tyrone yeah, was is. the man who changed it. I think they've got their Aston Villa glasses on, though. I think if you look at the bigger picture... But if you've got the money to spend... And they have, by the way. Then spend it, right? of money. And fair play. Fair play. But for me, I would be spending £20 million on a much better player than Tyrone Mings. But I, nothing to do with the fact that he played for Ipswich at all. Um, but I suppose that their argument is similar to ours in a sense of we need to keep the core that got us up together. Yeah, but they finished... What, what do they, how, where do they finish in the Championship? Fifth? Quite a lot. By the way, I love Aston Villa. I don't want Aston Villa fans to hate me. I really like Aston Villa as a football club. Mm. Proper football club. You just club. don't like Tyrone Mings. Loads of respect, but I absolutely hate and despise Tyrone Mings. Absolutely. I don't think there's anyone in the country who's called Tyrone that isn't hard as nails. 
Tyrone's quite like a hard or thug because for me, I thought that his his challenge on Nelson Oliveira was disgusting, right? And he should have been banned. What indefinitely? Well, not obviously, not, but <laughs> never come back. Anyway, can, um, can we just get back to that question? Yeah, that of statement? course. How do we not do a Fulham and equally not a Cardiff? God. We're obviously not going to do a Fulham because we haven't got the capacity in which to do. We so. can't do a Fulham. I don't. I cannot ever see a, a situation where Stuart Webber spends money, big money on a big gamble like Dave McNally did. I can't see that. I cannot see it. For me... But at the time, um, it didn't this feel is, like a This is strange, because I'm not, I'm not, you know... Oh, here we go again. I'm slagging off other football clubs. I've really got back into this again. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the whole Cardiff-Swansea thing, to be honest with you. Right. That's not the question. Um, no, I know, no, no. <laughs> but I think it's... Dis- what I'm saying is, I think that that statement is slightly disrespectful to Cardiff, because Cardiff almost did it. Yeah. Almost did it, and don't forget, um, if 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 they'd if they'd had, but almost is not had, enough. They got relegated. Yeah, but mate, and absolutely, and their and their they, tactic were to keep the core of the team that got you up. They of course went up as as nearly champions. Similar I point I don't totals. Think you, can to look, us. you can't look at Cardiff. Why? You can't look at They're Cardiff doing the same thing because to us. they tried to sign a striker that unfortunately didn't make it, mate. That's why. So you can't look at Cardiff. You cannot look at Cardiff. I think, but I, there are similarities there, in which and, and and the way that Cardiff played towards the end of the season, they gave heart, they gave spirit, they gave fight, and, and they I'm still okay got relegated. That. All right, and what did Stuart Webber sit here and do? He said, "We're going to give it a good go." And what did Cardiff do? They gave it a good go on a limited budget. So, so you would be happy if we gave it a good go and got relegated? If we give it a good go, let's give it a good go. Mm. I'm not saying roll over and die. I'm just saying let's give it a good go. Okay, interesting. So, what well, are you saying? I don't think we're. What's your answer to that statement? Well, I, I think our recruitment will be cleverer. Is that a word? Cleverer? Just fine. More intelligent. You're getting into it again. It's okay. Than, than, than Cardiff's. Um, I, don't, I, don't I agree think, with that. I think signing Bobby Reid and Murphy would have ever really fitted their system that well. I think when you've got a top scorer who I think was Sol Bamba for the majority of the season, you've got real problems. And I think we've got goal scorers on our side. Great name, by the way. Um, Fulham's recruitment was just all over the shop. We're better than that. Yeah. I think the nice thing, and I've been definitely playing devil's advocate. I think we will stay up, and I think we'll stay up comfortably. Do you? I Big think we've shout. got. I think we've got the right foundations. Okay. And we've got, we've got, a, we've got a style of playing football. Mm. My only worry, and I think I said this on the last podcast or whenever is if we do an Alex Neal, I'll call it, and go up with a lovely philosophy, and then you suddenly switch back when you get thumped away at Newcastle. That's the worry. I don't think that will happen. No, it won't happen under Farker's watch, for sure, 100%. I mean, if we get tonked 3 4 5 nil for five consecutive games, we are going to change yeah. it, but then it's warranted. But I can't, I can't see Daniel Farker no. changing it at all. And I think Farker has learnt a lot over the past season in, in, in which mm-hmm. he has the ability to change it within games now one of your big criticisms yeah. throughout last season and the season before was that the substitutions weren't quick enough blah 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 it yeah. seems like he's better at that yeah now. yeah yeah definitely I agree 100% and that's going to be so important um, which one of our three signings thank you for the question Jack Callow um, do you think will make the most impact next season Ooh, interesting so we've got a striker, we've got a forward, and we've got a goalkeeper. Big Jojo. Should you I stop can't. saying that? Yeah, you do. Okay. Um, I think. Oh God, that's that's a really hard question. I'm going to say I'm going to say Patrick Roberts. Okay. I'm going to say Patrick Roberts. I think that there'll be a real. I think he's going to have a big moment. Mm. A big moment. Wow. Like a big moment. You're getting so excited. In, Good, yeah. good. You should be excited. Yeah. Norris City are back in the Premier League. We I need know. to be excited. We need to get it? carried away. Yeah, a little yeah. Bit. I can honestly, I would just. I've got you've this, gone from. You, I love this because you've gone from the start of the podcast being we need <laughs> to <down>. limited <laughs> expectations, and now you're like we need to get excited. Well, we should be excited. We've got to enjoy the journey, haven't we? Yeah. Have I just completely contradicted myself? Yeah, completely. But yeah, fine. fine. That's okay. Okay, so I can see, for example, a Manchester United or a Tottenham or. A Man City, no, we're not going to beat Man City, or a Liverpool coming to town. Mm. And I can just see Patrick Roberts just banging in a worldie. Really? Like from nowhere, from absolutely nowhere. Is in the crowds a little bit down, a bit nervy, just pops one in, top bins. Really? 100%. Do you think he's got that in him? He's absolutely got yeah. it in him. He's got it in him. And What's the cello, think? and the cello. I was then going to just, ju- by the way, sorry, celebration for the people that say that I can't shorten words. Um, he's just going to go over to the snake pit. He's going to give it the badge pant like that, just like big, big badge pant, like slamming his fist against his chest. 
like proper Wolf of Wall Street style. Wow. Yeah, yeah he's going, he's going. And, and then at the end of the season, when he pops up and scores the goal that takes us into the top six, he'll also <laughs> recreate that Wolf of Wall Street scene in which he goes, I'm not leaving. And he stays. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm buying that. Buying it. That'd be good, Who it? for you? Patrick Roberts as well? Uh... How yeah, do we do I, this? We, I, we talk I th- utter nonsense. I think it probably is Patrick, mainly because I think he's got the most chance of getting in the squad. I think Dermic will... I mean, he's got to displace Pookie. That's a, that's a, that's a, a mean feat on itself. Mm-hmm. Will uh, will Ralphie Boyd get in a, in front of Cruel? I doubt it at the start. He has the potential Good. to make well done for big impact. That. I think Patrick Roberts... Yeah, I think it's... You're feeling it? I think he's the most likely. I want it for him as well. Yeah, I really, honestly, do want it for him. Didn't, didn't she say he's like one of the nicest blokes yeah. ever as well? Yeah, which is lovely. Yeah, nice bloke. Good to see. Um, let's get another question. Um, Tristan, the away day you're most looking forward to. Um, oh, what's the away day I'm most looking forward to? Spurs. Great shout. No, I believe no. that's a midweek. So that's just. I'm sorry, no disrespect, but I just my body can't handle that. Too much of a wimp. Really? I have to take the day off work. It's late. It's. I would love to go, but sorry, I'm. Not your do body that. wouldn't handle it. You're a you're a well built man, Chris. Surely you. Uh, I probably all right. I probably will do Tottenham, especially if you force me to go. Um, well, well, I don't. By I the way, I don't what? think any of us are getting tickets in this room because none yeah, of us have true. got memberships. So we're not looking forward to any away days no because the membership scheme has completely priced us out of it. Is that your answer? You're looking for Tristan? No comment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> God, Tristan definitely didn't want that. I tell you what, I'm really looking forward to West Ham. Are you? New stadium, big, very easy to get to, very beatable. Mm. What are you laughing for? <laughs> Just you didn't expect me to say. No, that, I did. did. I did. Oh, you did. Yeah. Would you have said because that of them me? exact reasons? And you know what? <laughs> it's in Stratford, so you can go and get your fancy pre-match meal in Westfield. That's your kind of way. You know isn't me it? too well. You don't want to be going to, to to Burton and eating burgers out of a burger van down near the Pirelli Why? tire. Factory. I don't want food poisoning. I'm sorry. You, you're very much a, a posh away day fan, aren't you? Yeah. What's wrong with that? A corporate one. One could say. No, 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 no. That's fraudulent. Don't put don't put me in the corporate box. Right. Yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Give me ten years. So West Ham. Yeah, yeah, love would really be up for that. Okay. West Ham fan TV as well. You know quality, what my quality fan channel. You know what my yeah definitely. Um, my one. Buzzing to get back to Bramble Lane. Oh, you know what? I, I, I was no, I'm buzzing. Be, I was gonna. You're, you're buzzing. That's gonna be a big one. That's gonna be the big one. The big one. Big Daniel Could against. Could you imagine against oh, Chrissy Wilder? I'd love to see us beat them. I'd love to see us. You've got all Kevin Keegan on. Oh, you? I'd love it. You would love it though, wouldn't you? If you could be okay. If you could choose one team to beat next season, it's, it's Sheffield United. You, I love that. Not Man City, not Liverpool. No, you want to beat Sheffield United. Yeah, away. beat the teams in and around you. A real like, and make sure it counts as well. Make it, it count. I want Josip Dermic to be celebrating in front of their fans. Do you? And just standing there, motionless, and thinking. <laughs> So, no. on, you got me there. What? Emotionless. No, I do. Emotionless. That's a word, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a word. I'm just, I'm just surprised. I just didn't expect. No, I to want say him it. standing there, looking <laughs> eye to eye with the same fans the that Angus, gave us the Angus went, gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I want him standing there. I want arms out. Ooh, do you like this? Do you? Okay, okay. Do you? Yeah, I do. Okay, okay, all right. I'd quite like to see us beat. Who would I most like to see us beat? I would kind of. Uh, this is going to sound a bit. Um, oh, I don't know, actually. What, what would I like? No, Sheffield United would be good. Yeah, it? it'd be lovely. It would be nice. The stadium I'm most looking forward to, though, is Spurs. That looks. It does look nice. Yeah, you stink of Spurs. Yeah. It does look very nice. Will VAR improve the Premiership, says Canary fans? Yes. How did I know you were going to say that? Do you like VAR? I think I uh, there is nothing more frustrating than referees making the wrong decision. Mm. Nothing. But does it not kill the vibe of it when you've just scored a last minute I winner def- at, I def- at Man City yeah, I, I, and then it gets chalked off for being yeah, two millimetres offside? But, but, I th- but I think that that's something that they need to get better at, that, 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 that pace of decision making, mm. for sure, 100%. I think that there needs to be more people in the room. I think there needs to be more cameras. I think they need to be able to just bang and get it. Mm. Um, but, but for me, I... I, I 
there's come on there's nothing worse than a wrong decision how infuriating is it mm. how infuriating is it well, I'm still bitter over Cameron Jones overhead kick <sighs> when there is as much money in the Premier League that, that, than there is today you know we, we need VAR imagine we got relegated on a wrong call because mm. VAR wasn't in place like it or loathe it but is it, I'm, is I'm it more than that Chris isn't it football it's, it's more about emotion it's not just money you said earlier you didn't like emotion now you're saying you like emotion no, I'm talking about Josip Dermic. Well, VAR isn't taking the emotion out of football. I think it. I think it has potential to. Potential to, yeah. I'm not disagreeing with that, but it hasn't yet. So. Well, we haven't experienced it live, so how yeah, can you okay. say that? Oh, by the way, that's going to be the big moan for Norwich fans this season, isn't it? A hundred percent. What the VAR? Oh yeah, they've been. We've been moaning about tiny stuff last season. Yeah. I think you were moaning at Tim Krul when we were top of the league. So imagine, Probably. imagine what you're going to be moaning about with VAR. We also can't see the screen that rotates. Maybe for VAR we'll get a screen rotating for Barkley. That's what I most want from this season. If any, you know, they, they talk about improving the club, Colney, blah, blah, blah. I've heard it all before. I want a screen that actually rotates 360 degrees. 360? Yeah, Why, all why, why does Holiday Inn need to see it? Because, you know, added value. They can charge more for the rooms. Partnerships, Chris. Yeah, but the club don't take the money from Holiday Inn, Jack. Holiday Inn take the money. They don't yet. But maybe they could in the future if that screen rotates. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what they could do? You now this is a this I is can a great. Tell you've just got back from holiday. This is a great call. Yeah, I'm full of beans. I'm ready to go. Um, they could rotate the screen. Yeah. And they could do holiday in movie nights. Oh my god. <laughs> no, they could. They couldn't. They. When oh you all you all stand in the windows, and they no no, and they replay last no. season's promotion no. DVD on it. I tell you what. I will tell you something. I'll change. I'll change this. Um, the promo video for the kit, which we need to talk oh, about. Oh, that was good, by the way. Yeah. The promo for the kit needs to be played. I can't, mm. I'm so sorry for not crediting, but I've just remembered that someone tweeted that they should play that before every single home game. Mm. And I love that. Mm. I'm eating that for breakfast. I want that every... That's got to happen, 100%. Mm. If anyone from the club is listening, get that sorted. Yeah. That would fire you up, wouldn't it? Yeah. If that doesn't get the river end on their feet, I don't know what will. The kit's nice, by the way. We, I mean, we're not love wearing it. it. Love it. There's a, there's an athletic fit kit yeah, that's yeah. ten pounds more uh, for some no, reason. Although it's smaller, so you would have thought less material, so less cost. But anyway, <laughs> this could get dangerous for you. Um, are you buying the athletic fit kit? Uh, possibly. Are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it in XL, and it might kind of shrink me in a bit. It might be like one of them. I feel like you might pop out a little bit, maybe. Well, you know, d don't w when you get to a certain age, and and you might be female, you start to wear things that kind of tuck the fat in a little. That could be the same with me. <laughs> Mate, what? what? Oh no, it's like, you know, it's, it squeezes you in somewhat. Well, I can't believe you've just gone there. I actually can't. I'm just saying. Are we keeping that in? If, what? It's, it's, they're clothes that people buy. Could this buy? be the first thing we ever edit out of the TNT <laughs> podcast? Um, I, on a serious note, the kits, what do you think of the notch kits? I love them. I really like them. Genuinely? Well, we haven't seen the Awaker yet, have we? That I might be horrendous. I love, love the home kit. So smart, and the sponsor works so yeah. well. You know, think what you like about it being a betting part and betting not. And of course, you know we like Ro Roy's of Roxham on the front, <laughs> of course. But 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 for me, I think that the the, the Daffabet logo mm. works well. It's green. It's relatively small. It's not bless their heart the Aviva box. Yeah, I, I think it looks slick. It looks smart. It looks modern. It's innovative. I like it. I really really like it. Good. Um... Riverend Rogue asks, how much game time do you think Adam Ida will get next season? Or will he be limited to cup games only? Now, this is an interesting one because you always... I think the, I think the, 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 the debate that everyone's having at the moment is who's going to be the next Max Aarons? Who's going to be the next Jamal? The one to break mm -hmm. out of the academy. Yeah. Is it Adam Ida? Uh, possibly, but... Uh, they, uh, this oh, sorry, so River again. End Rogue. River End Rogue. I think River End Rogue is referring to cup games, just cup games, as a bad thing. Mm. I don't think it's a bad thing when your club's in the Premier League. Mm. I think that's a I think it's a compliment. You look at all of the top sides in the Premier League; mm. they've almost got three whole squads mm. for each competition. Mm. So, so for me, Adam Ida playing all of the cup games, and oh, remind me of the competition that we're in with Ipswich, the Checker Trade Trophy. The Any interest in that, by the way? No, zero. No, I don't like it. But for me, this is a development year for Adam. Mm. He's just he's just coming to the first team. Mm. So I'm not expecting anything of him, but I know he's a talented guy. I know he'll get there. And I don't think I don't think necessarily it's the right time to be banging the Adam Ida drum. Let's let him develop. Let's mm. let him have a year. 
and see what you can do. And of course, playing that. every single first team cup first team cup game is massive step up for him. And I hope he smashes it. And of course, that, guy. that that transition in going from your under twenty three dressing room into a first team dressing room is tough as well Absolutely. because new people, yeah, yeah, yeah. bigger egos. Definitely, it's not easy. Yeah. Well, no egos in the Norwich team. Of but. course, I think he sat next to Louis Thompson in the changing room. Yeah. Louis Thompson, could he be back in in the, in the mix this season? I definitely, I definitely think he'd be in the squad for sure. And I think he's, and I think he, he seems like a great guy. I've not met him yet, um, but he seems like a great guy. And yeah, you, you, of course, you want nice guys in the mm. team like Louis Thompson. And he gave his. I, I, will, I won't ever, ever, ever forget that performance against Ipswich mm. away. Carried off where the pitch. he where he was injured and he carried on playing. And he just he just wanted to because he wanted to pr- he wanted to fight mm. and arguably that was that was a catalyst in itself that set the fighting spirit for the rest of the season. Mm. Louis Thompson set that fighting spirit, so I hope he's in the mix. He deserves to be in the mix, definitely. Good. Um, question here from Jordan. He asks, who should be the central midfield pairing? Ooh. What do you, who do you think? Can you go wrong here? By the way. Lightner's in there for sure. But can you go wrong? Look at the players we've got. Tete can he cut it in the prem? Probably not. So we're talking got... about centre midfield, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't play Tete in the centre midfield, would you? Well, if we're playing the same system in which we play, the midfield pairing, the okay, that. Pairing. All right. Well, you could go wrong then. I wouldn't be starting Tete. No, no. offense. Love Tete. Great guy. It's me. It's Tete. Um... <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> That wasn't even funny. Uh, no, it wasn't meant to be. Oh, okay, um, but you laughed anyway. <laughs> yeah. Vranjic. Leitner and... Tom Tribal has to start. Has I think to start. It, I think for me it's... I think it for me it's Leitner and, and Tom. Tribal. Oh, love that. Which means Mario misses out, which is, which is a real shame. Have we had a tweet, by the way, from Norwich yet? 2021, I think. Vranjic. Vranjic, Vranjic just signed contract. a new contract. Happy? Buzzing at that. Yeah. Buzzing at that. What a play. What a fantastic season he had. What a turnaround. Year, yeah. What a turnaround. For sure. You know, we, we both sat here and we wrote him off. And he absolutely deserves that new contract. And you know what? He does he deserves a shot in the Premier League. What are you showing? Oh us? wow, is it a Maro Capod? Oh, I love that. That's a great graphic. Mm. Thanks, Max. Um can you possibly put that on the screen for our viewers or not? You're not allowed to do Probably that. Probably not. Okay, no. sorry, I'll sorry. Avoid that. You, you would have seen it. Um Mario Vrancic top player um, but by the way again we're talking about him not being in the team is a really bad thing not being in the team but being a sub in the mm. Premier League mm. the biggest league in the world it's massive yeah. let's not beat it up if he's a sub he's a sub mm. but you know having Mary Vrancic come in when Leitner or Tom Tribal gets injured isn't a bad thing it's great definitely uh, let's see if there's any more questions there was more, I swear. There was no, more. There, there are, there, there's quite a lot of overlapping ones. A lot of them saying, who, who's, who's your first choice goalkeeper, mainly. By the way, we've got a competition out on our Twitter. You can win a signed we Woodford's um, Chris when Sutton this, When show. is this podcast out? I uh, don't know, but there'll be enough time for it. Okay. Yeah. Well, what was getting announced on Monday? So. Yeah, no, there'll be enough time. Good. That's that's for sure. Uh, now, this is, a, this is a fantastic question from Good. Mighty Fritz. He says, are the guys at uh, TNC concerned at the lack of the new van signing so far? This oh, no. window, I see with interest another local club have done a huge van deal with Renault for some vans. Are we lagging behind? Will this affect us at the Premier League level? And of course, he's referring to Ipswich Town, who have now got a van partnership. Um, I suppose vans are important, aren't they, for, for, for things that vans do? I need to have a little pre frame before I answer. By the, the way, question. Ipswich are in League One. Has that sunk in yet? Can I just pre frame before I answer this mm. question? I really, 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 really want for myself, but I would also advise the other Norwich fans this season, Ipswich are irrelevant now. Mm. Absolutely irrelevant. I'm not, you know, and look, put a comment, look, if enough people want it, put in the comments below on YouTube if you want me to continue the Ipswich <laughs> banter. But for me, I've just decided myself, they're irrelevant. They're absolutely irrelevant. They're in League One, they're going to rot. Their club is going to rot. So. For me, there's absolutely no point in even talking about them. I don't want to talk about them. They're irrelevant. Who are who are they? The biggest club in East, uh, the second biggest club in East Anglia now is who? Is Luton. Is Luton? Yeah. Luton. Stevenage on the rise as well. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Big up for Stevenage. Now, by the way, I've just signed a, a big deal with Burger King. Stevenage. Oh, <laughs> by the way, could you imagine if that was the sponsor well, on the Burger Norwich King? King. Yeah, 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 yeah. That wouldn't work. Who would be your Who would be your ideal sponsor for the Norwich kit? 
like ideal take money off the table who would you have um, no adult sites <laughs> um, Palmer's <laughs> Palmers, mm. as in the the the, the kind of um, shop in, in Yarmouth, the what do you call it? Like, oh, it's like a it's, a it's a better version of House and Fra- House of Fraser. By the way, um, really like the article that you tweeted about the other day. Um, good to see that the high street is um, not doing well, so they have to start to you know pay for invest. Pay for promotion. Um, who'd be your dream? Rosa Roxon was a good shout. <laughs> I mean, do you like Rosa Roxon? Yeah, I do. Yeah. A terrible outfit. Always get the slippers in. Rose terrible Roxham. outfit. What is it? There's no identity. No, it's everything. No, there is no identity to Roy's or Roxham. Roy's is Roxham. Roxham is Roy's. <laughs> quote that up. Someone quote that up. By the that's way, not, by the way, class, you know the um, the McDonald's. Roxham is Roy's. <laughs> you know the McDonald's in Roxham. Yeah, is the worst McDonald's on the planet. Look, I think Wroxham is a lovely part of the world. Mm. Um, I think it's arguably the heart of the Norfolk Broads, <laughs> arguably. Max, what's so funny about that? <laughs> um, you know, I, I love Horning. Cruising I love Horning yeah. as well. Um, but, you know, for me, Roy's Wroxham, terrible outfit. Why, though? Because you need a USP. You need something to stand out in the market. Chris, this is an independent what? business that has been standing for, I'm for, sorry, for many you, decades. Yeah, but it it's clearly like, got something. Okay. One thing, you you walk into Royce Rocks and it stings. <laughs> of, of passion. Of a long-standing independent business. That's what it smells of. I walk in there and think, wow. I, <laughs> oh, I am man. in a shop of real history. Oh, man. That's shocking. <laughs> <laughs> That's Harrods, not Royce and Rocks. No, you're thinking of I think you're being inc- I think you're lacking incredible at, a, amount of empathy here. There, there, there's a clear market for Royce and Rocks. Anyway. I'll tell you what Royce is. It's similar to Latham's. It's the type of place where you go and pick up <laughs> your bits and bobs, your packet of bird feed, <laughs> your slippers, isn't it? Why don't you just get them online? You don't need you to You can't buy Ro- bird food online. You don't online. need to track out to Royce of Roxham, walk into a shop that smells of old people, that doesn't... What, what does it give you that other shops don't? I think it gives you a lot. It sells tat. That's what it does. I think that's incredibly Any, hard. Anyway, they can't. Have, luckily, they can't afford, afford the TNC sponsorship, and luckily, they can't afford to sponsor the football club. So, who would be your? You're, you're saying Palmer's. Palmer's. I don't. I actually. Hey, I that's so rogue from you. All right, who's, who's yours then? Woodford's. <laughs> really? Yeah, hundred percent. Because of the green branding. That I'd, the, love, to see, green branding I'd love to see. I'd love to see Coleman's back. Any interest in an away sponsor and a home sponsor like Lotus and Proton? I know they're the same. They were under the same banner. What's funny about that? Any no, interest? Um, so, for example, if we had a green away kit, the yellow Woodford's logo on there would look. I think the thing with that is, is you probably then you probably know more about this about how a brand deal is constructed, but you probably then have to promise the amount of times that will be shown, right? And you can't promise the amount of times your away kit's worn, right? Okay, but. You you could forecast the kit anyway. This is getting all commercial. People are interested. Let us know your thoughts. Who's your dream sponsor? Yeah, who's your dream sponsor? Is it Best Fiends? Is it Leo Vegas? <laughs> um, probably neither. Um, <laughs> any final thoughts? I can't believe you've you've just said Palmer's. Palmer's is a great Norman's Furniture right next to it. Fantastic as well. Oh God! What about that mushy pea still? Yeah, down there today. Of course, of course you. It were. was on the news last week. Why was I mean, it on the news this last is the longest, week? Stabling, longest standing mushy pea establishment in the whole of the country. It's been you, going since 1946. Yeah. Do you think that Norwich should have them sponsoring the kit? I don't think they've got a logo. <laughs> 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 it could just, it could just say just the, a pot of peas. Just say the mushy pea stand. <laughs> oh god, that would work though. Green. Um, anyway, Norwich City wise, are you excited for the new yeah, season? Yeah, buzzing. I'm oh. really excited. You know what? From a it's not. I forgot the Premier League feel. Yeah, you're in the news a bit more. I've had loads of emails yeah. from like random. Someone actually go on um, emailed to say they were a, a TV company from Dubai. Why haven't you told me this? Uh, I'm telling you now. Okay. They wanted to follow us around with a camera for the Liverpool game. Us. Yeah. What? But neither of us are going, so they can't. Oh. Um, but it's things like that. You don't get that in the chat. No, no one wants to follow you around at Rotherham. Okay. They do want to follow you around in Liverpool. Okay. Good. It's that feel. It's the we're, we're, yeah. we're back. You know we're what? Back. You know what I'm so excited for? Not the Liverpool away game. Newcastle at home. Cool, that's meaty. Wow. Atmosphere is going to be popping off. Former the, the former Premier Norwich player probably returning the, the, in charge of Newcastle. Big Stevie Bruce. 
Yeah, love Bruce. Love Steve Bruce. Genuinely. Yeah, me too. 100%. Um, I think... Scored in that kit. The, 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 he, he did, yeah. he did. The, the feel of when you're at Carrow Road in the Premier League mm. and you, uh, you you almost feel like this, there's a point to prove. Mm. And, and Stuart feels like that too, which mm. is quite interesting. I think we've got a point to prove in the Premier League next season. And where are we going to prove points? Probably away from home because we're not a city. But how nice would it be if we did it at home? Mm. Newcastle, first game at home, three points. Yeah. I'm feeling that. Really? Yeah, 100%. That's big. Like, a big, like a big win. Wow. Emmy Buendia, Hattie. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, let us know your dream sponsors for kits. Um, let us know the guests that you want on the podcast yeah. next season as well. You know who I know would have come up with a really good answer to that? Nick Conrad. He would have nailed that. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, mate. We well, could have got him on, but you know. He's, he, he, was to, he was talking. We'll, we'll end it here. His phone in yesterday morning was, um, is it okay to urinate at the side of, of roads <laughs> as long as you're slightly covered? Do you have an opinion on it? Oh, mate, come on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, catch us on iTunes, Spotify, um, Stitcher. Can I just... Stitcher? <laughs> yeah, that's a podcast, yeah. Are we on that? Yeah, we're on everything. We're on that American... What's the American thing we're on now? Um, oh, yeah. Um, Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report. We're, we're on Bleacher Report. We're going. Catch us on Bleacher Report. If you're American and you're watching this now, catch us on Bleacher Report. <laughs> that was horrendous. That was awful, wasn't it? <laughs> um, what have I got to say? I can promise you that podcasts won't be like this next season when it starts. Promise. And this we is a, this is a proper bot shit podcast. And if you've got to this point, congratulations as well. Good to see you, mate. OTBC.